So I often get asked, what is the perfect deal look like for you, Bronson, especially in this environment? You know, I speak with a lot of investors and people want to know, like, what should I be doing with my money? Right. Obviously, interest rates are rising. Multifamily is getting more challenging with lending. And, you know, what I see right now is what Warren Buffett talks about, where he says, be fearful when others are greedy and be greedy when others are fearful. There's this Chinese uh, character for crisis. If you see the word crisis here, it has the uh, it has both the, the symbols for danger and opportunity in the same image. So you can see here, some just see danger, but there's also incredible opportunity. And I, I'm the one who sees incredible opportunity right now, and I wanna get into why, so let's jump into it. A quick disclaimer, I'm not your investment advisor. Get your own professional opinions before making your decisions. These are just my thoughts. Uh, so what does the perfect deal look like for me? And I'm gonna share just from the heart what I see the perfect deal looking like, right? Because there's a lot of deals out there. There's a lot of deals that could make sense for certain people, but for me personally, with my net worth, where I'm at in life, the perfect deal looks like this. It has cash flow. From, from very quickly on, it has cash flow. It has an inflation hedge, meaning it, it, it kind of keeps pace with inflation, the value of it. Uh, it has tax advantages, so you can either pay little or no tax, uh, either using leverage to buy, so I can use other people's money to buy an asset, which is amazing. Uh, it has low volatility, uh, meaning it doesn't, the value of it doesn't change dramatically. And uh, you know, those are things that are really important. So what is this? Uh, in the past, it's it's really has been multifamily. It's been deals like this, right? We've seen it. We've seen cash flow. You know, the rents cash flow. You know, amazingly, right? We had an inflation hedge. Rents and inflation really go hand in hand. Credible tax advantages. I've used it to reduce, reduce my tax bill from around 25% when I was doing medical sales to now around 1%, which is awesome. Uh, using leverage to buy, right? I, a lot of it's done through using a loan, only putting you know somewhere between 20 and 35% down traditionally. Now it's changed a little bit. Um, and then the volatility is very, very low. So this has been an investment that has been great. But the question I get a lot is, you know, Bronson, is multifamily still a good deal? Because obviously things have changed. Everybody's kind of afraid. We don't know what's going on. And I did a video on this recently where it's, you know, is multifamily investing over Right, and because we've had this golden age of multifamily for so long, and now we've really faced some headwinds. And what do I mean by headwinds? Well, I mean that lending has changed. Right, uh, loan to value changes. Instead of putting 20, 25, 30 percent down, we're going to put a lot of times 35 to 50 percent down. And also the rates are higher, so these interest rates have gone up. It's harder to find deals at pencil. The deals that we've had, we've had some headwinds there. Right, because. We thought we were really smart. 85% uh, of the multifamily loans approximately are with using what's called bridge debt. Bridge debt is typically two to three year debt. Um, it's on a variable rate, so it changes depending on rates. Those rates have come up. Well, years ago we thought, hey, we're really smart. We're gonna get these interest rate caps that are like an insurance that prevent the rates from going higher. Well, the rates have gone higher and what's happened is now the insurance that you had to buy so on those on those cap rates have gone way up. So the, the cap, the insurance caps have got, now cost like 20 times what they used to, right? So it's still costing more, even though you're not paying it on the interest rate, you're paying it on the insurance, which is kind of odd, but uh, it's kind of interesting how that works. Also, investor sentiment has changed. So uh, a lot of people have been more concerned about just, you know, rather kind of sit and wait. The confused mind will say to wait. Uh, costs have gone up, cost of labor, cost of materials, a lot of costs have gone up. One positive that we've seen uh, even now, still in Jacksonville, that rents are up. So rents are continuing to rise. So we're seeing some real positives there. And what I would say you know, about this is that there is an opportunity that really could make sense and it's important to be open to that. So I believe the right deal can still make sense right now, right? There is a perfect deal out there. We're seeing some discounts. I love sales during the holiday time. I get some great sales, whether you get half off or 20% off, whatever. Well, we're seeing discounts on some deals of 10 to 30% off, which is awesome. And I look at value add deals as being better, right? So if we buy older properties, we have some sort of value we can add. It puts what, more, what Warren Buffett talks about as a margin of safety in that deal, right? So if things don't go the way we want, if rents come down, if there's issue with the property, whatever, if, as long as we can come in and we can see this rent bump, it could be you know, uh, 20, 30, 40, 50%, meaning we'll come in and do a renovation and we can rent this out to other tenants at a higher amount. It gives a big margin of safety. Now, I look at Class A deals, and I've done some videos on this about how I see Class A brand new apartments as being very high risk, right? The two bedroom apartment in Pasadena, California, where I live, that's getting 4,200 a month for rent, will not get 4,200 a month in rent when there's a major recession, right? So there's some risk there. So what happens? Maybe they'll get 3,500, maybe they'll get 3,000. That will 
put the entire deal at risk or it will just at least dramatically hurt the cash flow, right? And so when it comes to investing in uh, apartments or when it comes to investing in deals, it's always important that you ask this question that my friend Jason Hartman asks. He says, well, compared to what, right? Compared to what? Uh, if you're going to not going to invest in a deal, what are you going to do? Are you going to put it in cash? Or are you just going to hold it and wait? Well, you're losing. That's a way to guarantee a negative investment return of 15% per year. So not only are you not getting two, three, four, five, 10, 15, 20 plus percent, you're losing 15% per year according to shadow stats, right? According to this chart. So it's important that you know you do compare apples to apples. I think it's a great time to buy. Um, that when you buy a property, when interest rates are higher, the buying price is fixed, right? So if I, we buy a $10 million apartment, uh, it's $10 million. Like that's not going to change. But what can change is the interest rate that maybe it's six, 7%. It can be adjusted later, right? So that's something that can change later. It's the same with single family houses. So I think the right deal at the right time really can make sense, you know, and there's always opportunities for deals if you're paying attention. So uh, I would just watch out for sitting in cash. Uh, my friend, Jeff Clark, I've shared about this in other videos. He said that the average, the Fed uh, basically goes from having rate hikes, which they started hiking rates in March of 2022. Um, the average time is typically five months until they start cutting rates. And the longest they've ever done it in the last 70 to 100 years has been 13 months. So that would put us into April of 2023. So we're, we're approaching that. So my thought is in the next three to six months, there's going to be some recession, some reason, some political pressure. They're actually going to start uh, cutting rates again. And when that happens, a lot of this money on the sidelines is going to flood in. And so I think it's a great time right now. Uh, so in summary, I wouldn't say just, you know, don't sit on cash, try to deploy money. The cost is just too high. Saving is losing. Uh, I'm always looking for the right deal. I'm always looking to deploy typically around 95% of what I have because I want to own assets that cash flow that pay me to hold them that are safe deals that I feel that have an inflation hedge. So hope that for you as well, friends. I hope that you find deals that uh, cash flow, that have tax benefits, that, that offer all the things that you want in a specific deal. And I want to share this with you. This is a quote from Warren Buffett. He says, the best investment you can make is an investment in yourself. The more you learn, the more you will earn. Uh, that's similar to a Brian Tracy quote that says, if you want to earn more, you have to learn more. So by being here, you are learning more. This is great. I encourage you to read books, go to conferences, do all the things you can to learn as much as you can, and you will find the perfect deals that make sense for you. Um, if you haven't checked out this video that I did, this is called Why Multifamily Keeps Getting More Attractive. I've got a lot of traction on this video, and I really believe it that I think multifamily is incredibly attractive, and I think it actually keeps getting more attractive as inflation and rates are higher um, not always a common opinion, but I think it is much, much preferred to sitting in cash. Um, if you haven't joined our investment club, you're not hearing about our awesome deals like this one behind me. You're not hearing about our ATM machine fund, and you're not hearing about our other alternative assets that really aren't offered anywhere else that are in the energy space. So check that out at bronsonequity.com. Click the link below. We'd love to start a relationship with you. Some of these deals, we actually have a relationship with you to be able to share them. And comment below, what does your perfect deal look like? So stick that in the comments below, like and subscribe, and really consider sharing this with a friend. I know you may have a friend that really would need to hear something like this. So please share it with them. Look forward to seeing you on the next video.